Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I have another um, small project share for the July re release from Scrap Diva Designs. Here is the website with all of Erica's information. Here's all of her social media. So make sure you guys follow along to see what everybody is making. So um, what I'm gonna feature today is there's quite a few different ones. Um, first up, I am featuring the charcuterie board, which was released previously, I think, like last fall or Christmas, I can't remember which, but um, I didn't get it until just now, um, just for this release, because she released um, this um, charcuterie board add-on. So this allows you to um, make shakers out of them if you want to, and it makes it a real fun layering piece. So. I use this and I also, well, I'll show you as I go. So that's kind of my base piece right there. And so I made these cute little, um, I made mine to be tags. And so I just um, decorated them up real cute. I used the layering piece back here, tied some ribbon up here. And then um, what I used to decorate was the flamingo shaker set from this month's release also this has two two of the flamingos so um one facing each direction um, i did not make these ones shakers i just layered them up with some really pretty pink glitter paper i think they turned out really cute so i just layered them up um, i attached those um, i also used these leaves again it's the tropical leaves you're gonna want all, you're gonna want these I mean these all go together so well so you're gonna want some leaves for for layering up um, gotta have your flamingos and then I also use this one which is the hibiscus flower plate so again I made some more flowers I use this small one again and it comes with three of them so you can make three flowers single layered if you want to um let's see this one on this one is a single layer and then with the little center pieces there this one i made this one's three layers so um you know you can give it whatever kind of look you want to by how many layers you put and then i cut some of the tropical leaves out there's all stashed behind there and then i got just the pieces from the collection i'm using which by the way is um simple stories just beachy it looks so cute with this collection everything just goes along so well um some more like a, a sentiment from the collection and a little surfboard back there and then i also just used some of those cute little enamel dots got them kind of placed around just think they turned out super cute so i used all those three sets on that project actually four sets five sets <laughs> okay so anyway i think this turned out super cute cute way to, if you could you could do a cute tag flip um and you could do it'd be really cute if you did you know all the different sizes of the charcuterie board because you know you get one two three four five five different sizes so super fun okay and then i also wanted to share with you i also um, use this is called the travel mini album so I use that to make a card this one's gonna this one I, tr I made into a card so I cut it on the I folded some um, cardstock in half and then cut my card top on the fold leaving out this you know the little edge so it would um, make it um, make it you know have it stay together <laughs> Okay, and then I use the the travel, these letters cut out separately. Um, so let me, show, let me show you the pieces right here real quick. I mean, it's super simple, just, I didn't use, so I didn't use the actual, so it's got the three pieces. This is the piece that you're gonna use, you're gonna make it a mini album, okay? I didn't use this one because I didn't make this in a mini album. I just used this one and it's stitched, and then this is the letters. Okay, so I cut this out of the cardstock that was folded in half, 
to make my card and then I cut it out again to layer on top and I think I layered a piece on the inside too I'll show you that in just a second and then I cut out the letters out of different pattern papers and cardstock and then I also cut them oops sorry all out of foam so you can see they're all layered up on foam here and then just added some cute ephemera pieces from the collection and then also a cute little bow that I had in my stash so there's my uh, a travel card and then I stamped it on the inside wishing you were here and it's just a cute little sticker so I think that turned out really cute fun little card to send somebody when you're you know, you're out on vacation and traveling and traveling around and, you know, just want to say you miss somebody or wishing they were with you. I just thought that was really cute. Um, I used a stamp set that was in my stash. I don't even know where I got it because somebody had gifted it to me. And um, so I didn't have like the top on it. So I don't know where it came from, but I used the wishing and I stamped it um, out of this Distress Oxide Crack Pistachio. I used my... Um, Misty Stamper, which I'm glad I did because I had to do it a couple times. Um, and then once I stamped it, I poured some clear embossing powder on top so it would give it that kind of shiny look to it. See that? So anyway, I, I placed the wishing up here and then I chose this other sentiment that came with it. Um, you were here. Wishing you were here. So there's all different kinds of ways you can add, you know, add on to that. But I put that, I thought that would be good for a travel theme to say you were wishing somebody was there, you know? So I cut this, uh, another piece out of white to put it on here so it would show up real well on, you know, for my sentiment, so. There's my cute little travel card. So those are the two projects I wanted to share with you today. If you have any questions, let me know. I will link the website. I will list my discount code, Polka10. I'll list that down on the bottom in case you decide you want to pick up anything. Um, and then I will also um, link these um, die sets for you. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Remember, um, I have that new thing where I'm um, giving away some items each month that I create with my design team package along with some um, store-bought goodies also so you never know where I'm gonna pick that from so make sure you leave a comment when you watch I really appreciate it thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you on the next one bye